Yo, what's up guys? Right now I'm out here at UCLA speaking at the Young Entrepreneurs Panel. I'm super excited. There's lots of dope people here. So let's get to it. That's very smart. Yeah. Everybody using the restroom. I already did it. <laughs> you gotta be ahead of the game. That's how you. That's how you win in life. <laughs> Ask my boy. He knows all about it, man. Come on. You gotta go to the bathroom first. That's rule number one. Thank you so much for joining us for our Young Entrepreneurs panel. Um, my name is Deanna Evans, and I'm the Executive Director for Startup UCLA. Um, how many of you are familiar with Startup UCLA? Right, show a hands raised. Awesome, I love to see that. Over the past few months, I've had the absolute pleasure and privilege of being able to meet some of the most successful entrepreneurs that I have ever met in the Los Angeles area between the ages of 18 to 21. How's it going everybody? My name is Jordan. I'm 21 years old. I'm actually from Florida, but I moved out here last year to focus on building my business. Um, I have a YouTube channel where I help young entrepreneurs kind of figure out what to do and help them build their own business. And as well, I am creating, or I have a software that helps e-commerce owners build and scale their stores. So I'll definitely tell you guys more about this as the day goes on, but that's the intro. So. You guys, you can start something and you can put hours and hours and even months into and sometimes see no result. And there's two ways to go about that. You either pivot or you go all in. And for the sneaker thing, it didn't seem right. So after that, I was a little lost for a while and that's why I decided to go to college. Uh, I went to college expecting that it was going to be the thing that picked the direction for me. And in a way, it kind of did because I realized I didn't like it that much and that's just me, uh, and it kind of forced me to put my energy elsewhere. And when I came home after the first year of college, that's when I figured out I needed money. Like I was broke, I literally just similar events, couldn't really go get my own food. Uh, so I started a dropshipping store, and for three months, failed miserably. All the money I put into it just completely evaporated. It's like a magic trick. Um, and then I, from there, kept trying and trying and trying. I sold everything that I had to reinvest into the business. And then after about four months, I had my first successful month uh, where we made like 30K in sales. And then after that, it was like 150 and then 300K. And then from there, you know, we were able to build something huge. And I've been able to leverage that now to start my YouTube channel and my software. So that's kind of where I'm at now. Me and Vince also host events. That's what this is. Um, but we'll talk about that later. So yeah, that's me. <laughs> Awesome, thanks guys. Find something, don't jump from strategy to strategy, pick something and stay with it until it works because I don't know, like if we could go down the line and ask, how long was it until you got profitable with your e-com story? Three years. Yeah, like three years until you became profitable. How about, how about you? From my agency around seven months. And Kyle? Three years. Yeah, like years, you know? So think about if you want to be like, I'm sure some of you are maybe athletes or something in that line, like you're not going to be an athlete the first year, like the best one, you have to really practice and devote time to it. So pick an idea, stick to it. That's Business. So I teach people all the time and you know from getting my own success This has brought me a lot of fulfillment But being able to take the knowledge and transfer it to somebody else's brain and then watch them go on and implement that I, That's the one of the best feelings like ever and you know Vince has really been helping me with this vision too Because we've been hosting these uh, private masterminds where we do exactly what I'm saying 
So for me, I guess that might count as like social, uh, whatever. I just, I just like helping people. Because I know that every single like one of you in this room, we all have so much potential available to us, but it's up to you to unlock that. So I'm just really trying to help people, you know, believe in themselves and unlock that potential. The age that we live in right now, Creating a business, thanks to the internet, has become easier than ever. I don't want to say easy like you can do it in one night, but the opportunity has been more available than it was. Like 20 years ago, if you wanted to build a business, very different. Uh, I think that the opportunities to create your own business will only continue to expand um, as we get access to more platforms where we can advertise to people. But having said that about e-commerce specifically, it's not going anywhere, guys. Amazon is the biggest company in the world. Like People prefer to buy stuff online than they do to buy stuff in person for the most part. So the question is, where can you fill in that gap? Will you become a store owner? Will you become somebody that will educate in the field, et cetera? Or do something completely different because there's many other business models out there too that aren't e-commerce or dropshipping. Don't be scared to like get a job either. Like there's really nothing wrong with getting a job. I think when people create the self-image that they're an entrepreneur, they begin to believe that they're above working a job. It's not true. You could just work a job for a year and make money and then when you get your Lambo in your house, nobody's gonna be like, oh, he worked a job. He's not a real entrepreneur. Like, it doesn't happen. So yeah, if you need money, there's in and out there's I'm sure a bunch of places around here that'll hire you, so. Again, on that, at the end of the day, it kind of came down to like money, right? I did, most entrepreneurs, at least a lot of my friends or friend entrepreneurs, um, they did it for the money. You know, oh, like if you work hard enough, you you can have an income where you're not really capped at anything, right? And so, it, like, whether it was a job or entrepreneurship, you know, I wasn't necessarily like like Jordan was saying, where people are so like, oh, I, I, I got to just have my own business. I can't have a job. They're so like stuck up about it. It doesn't really make any sense, you know, because I'd rather work a job and run some sort of side business and make more money than the person that is too like, has too big of an ego to get a job. So, you know, that's kind of my piece on that. Um, that's probably the most common thing that I hear people say. When they're first starting out, it's like, I don't have enough time or I can't create time for this business. But I think if you do what these guys suggested and you really take some time to build good habits and try to create some consistency in your life, you'll discover that you have a lot more free time than you expected, uh, especially if you use social media. Whoever asked that question, I can't see you anymore, but if you, oh, there you go. If you have Instagram and you on Instagram for like an hour, two hours a day, stop doing that. If you really want to build a business, like stop doing that. That's not making you any money. And that's free time to build a business. So I feel like everybody can find time. I've heard crazier stories than a full-time student. I've heard people having a student, they have a job, and they have to build a business. Like, you know, it's possible, very possible. Just got done with the event at UCLA. It was super successful. I had a lot of fun. We got to speak to some aspiring and current entrepreneurs. I love doing stuff like this and we got many more things to come. So stay tuned guys.